Okay, let's take a look uh, for the new new copper application. After you start uh, this application, you need to fill your settings, like your names, telescopes, IPs, uh, CCD cameras you using, uh, etc. Then, after you save your settings, you can start uh, to process your visual estimates. For example, Comet 41P. If we are not sure about uh, the magnitude of the comparison star because uh, the informations in the planetarium programs are usually mixed, then we can uh, get the data di directly from Vizier. example this three stars Okay, and here are our magnitudes. Now we can process our observation. We can see uh, what is the distance of the comet, what is its alti altitude, where is the moon and sun. And here is our resulting uh, ICQ line with some more informations in the comment section. We can also save our observation to the file. Okay, this is visual estimates. Now uh, we're going on uh, CCD observations. The program is uh, designed to work with the Gaia application. For example, this beautiful image of Comet Lovejoy. First, we need to see where is the coma. Then we can start to measure. and measure reference stars.
Okay, so we got a comment and three reference stars. Now we need to uh, save the measure. And now we can start work with the measure in our uh, our new application. Okay, here here we see the positions of the object. can see this is the object one this is the object Two. and this is third reference star We are using air filter. We will use EPS magnitudes, but they don't have directly this this filter. We need to use the calculate magnitudes. So now we can query with Vizier. And now we only need to fill the details about the comment. Okay, this can be problem because I'm calculating the this observation for Czech Republic. And comet is still below horizon. The program don't let you save the observation. Okay, and now we got the resulting ICQ line. We can again save it to the file and we can move uh, to the observer planner. The observer planner always took a while to load because it is getting uh, the the recent, recent uh, visual magnitudes from a CEOPS then it uh, calculates the uh, photometric parameters for comets then after it it shows for the current time the comets which should be visible uh, with uh, the new uh, new magnitude parameters and the new magnitudes 
that are depending on actual data from CIOPS. You can also see the data which are used for the calculation. So this is the the calculation of the program and these are the data from the CIOPS. And this is the prediction. Or we can just plot some ephemeris, some comets, like this. Everything can be copied or saved into file. And this is the last part. It is uh, for analyzing the data of uh, comets. So we just need the destination of the comet. For example, the famous comet McNaught. We download the data from CIOPS. And now we can start working with uh, this comet. We can pick just visual observation, analyze data, or use the perihelion asymmetry, which calculates the magnitude parameters before and after peri perihelion. And here is the result. So with this we can rewrite the magnitude parameters of the comet. Then we can see how it looks. And we see that uh, there is a lot of brighter observation around the perihelion. This is because of forward scattering effect of the comet, but we can do the correction for it. So here we will correct the observation for forward scattering effect. We will analyze again. Now we will compare the observations with the new formula. And here we can see the corrected data for forward scattering and the magnitude parameters which now fits uh, much better than before. We can also exclude some observations. We can uh, analyze the comets from multiple returns, for example, Comet Hartley. Or we can just plot for different parameters and we can also do some comparison so we can take a look on our observations Or we can just do the comparison to other observers. 